Hello, everybody. This is Casey. Uh, I want to just give you kind of an overview of where where we are today, and uh, you know what's what's coming in 2019. It's been an exciting year out here. So first first and foremost, we've had some really fabulous events. Uh, really been ramping up our events uh, out here at Seabrook. For those of you who have paid attention. Um, we are always really busy during the summer seasons and spring break and holidays, of course. But how we um, drive drive uh, people out to the coast in the shoulder seasons is actually creating these great events. And uh, we just hosted our second annual Hood to Coast race, which is a uh, really big deal. There was about 3,000 runners here. Um, we had our third annual uh, AVA volleyball tournament. Uh, had some world-class volleyball players here. Our, we just had recently had the Bigfoot Brewfest, um, Saver Seabrook. I think we had 60, 70 wineries out here. So every year we just keep adding to um, to these slower weekends. Uh, and so there's always something fun to do uh, when you're out at the coast. And our town is growing. We have 50 new families joining us this year. Um, so we want to welcome everyone who is maybe on the webinar and maybe just purchased a house here. Uh, want to welcome you to the neighborhood. And, and we're really excited to have you be a part of it. Um, and we're, we're really excited about uh, what's, what's coming. So this, this shows we've sold 34 new houses this year and 16 resale homes. So um, obviously uh, the primary sales that are made here are new home sales, but we also love when um, resales are made because we get new families in and a lot of times they want to come in and, and uh, make some renovations to the house, spruce them up, clean them up. And so it just keeps Seabrook really fresh and energized. Um, so we're uh, thankful to have all of you. Um, we also opened uh, one of the new businesses in Seabrook. So Jean Chambers, who's the owner, she's in the yellow sweater there in the picture. Uh, she's been a fabulous addition to our town merchants, and um, she has uh, opened the doors, and, and people have really enjoyed um, her merchandising, the high-quality products that she has. And um, I've got five knitters in my family, so they love having a knitting store here in town. Um, and it's it's something to do uh, when you're when you're killing some time. So uh, definitely stop by Jean's new place when you're when you're here next if you haven't if you haven't been there. You know, one of the things that has made Seabrook so successful is that you know these these are really legacy properties for our homeowners, and um, it's something that we find that our that a lot of um, our owners agree on because. Um, it's one thing to have a vacation home that just kind of sits out there and uh, doesn't get a lot of use unless you're using it yourself. Um, but because we have an on-site vacation rental program, our owners are able to have that have that family legacy of having a beach house, that go-to place that um, you get to en enjoy watching your kids grow up or your families um, get together or friends get together. Um, it's really just a place where you get to make memories and, and uh, new traditions. Um, but at the same time, because of our, our on-site property management program, owners are able to receive income and um, uh, rent their house when they're not using it. So about 60% of our homeowners right now are in our rental program and really love having the ability to receive the rental income, which supports a lot of their expenses on the vacation home, but then they also get to use it for themselves and their friends and family. So it's kind of a, uh, has dual purpose. And we recently did a, recently did a survey and um, that was loud and clear that, that um, people are not just enjoying the homes, but they're also enjoying the income. And then the homeowners that decide not to rent their homes, um, we have a lot more people l living out here full time um, really changing their lifestyles. Since we have the school here, more people are telecommuting, uh, and the town is growing. The shops, the restaurants, the services um, are all coming in. We're seeing more young families and young couples and singles want to move out here and just be a part of our community. So it really takes all of us um, to make Seabrook what it is today. Um, this just kind of speaks to the history of our hospitality growth. So people that 
own a home in the cottage rental program, um, have seen really steady, uh, steady rental revenue um, since they've owned. Our, our growth on a year over year basis has, has increased uh, on average about 20% a year. So what this, what this is showing is um, not only the growth, but the number of homes added each year. So we've been able to sustain um, not only 20% year over year growth, but also um, sustain the rental income on individual homes. We track the individual homes very closely and, and we're very um, uh, happy to see that the, the pent up demand in Seattle is huge for a beach town close by. So that's, that's why we're seeing this growth and we don't see that stopping anytime soon. You know, the big difference when um, someone rents a home out in Seabrook is that you're, you're getting that comfort of having on-site management, getting the check-in face-to-face, um, but you're also getting the resort amenities, the indoor swimming pool, the tennis courts. Um, we've got a, a beautiful gym uh, if you want to sneak in a workout. Um, so all of those things really make your vacation that much more desirable. Uh, and then also the homes are uh, primarily designed for vacation. So um, we really maximize the living spaces and we reduce the sizes of, say, walk-in closets and bathrooms, things like that, because we really want to make sure that people have, you know, really great gathering spaces. Then, of course, the front porch is is one of the most popular spots uh, with with most of our houses. We also have on-site security, um, and we respond to our guests' needs and our owner needs um, quickly, and that's very unusual. Usually, when you rent a vacation home. In another market, let's say Cannon Beach or or Chelan or something like that, it's rare to ha- have all of these on-site amenities and the on-site face-to-face management, um, which really just enhances the experience. And it's part of the reason Seabrook has become a- as popular as it is. So some big changes for 2019. Um, for those of you who have been tracking Seabrook, you've probably um, heard that we have a lot of new um, retail buildings, retail shops and restaurants coming in um, on our market street. And uh, unfortunately, they have been delayed. The construction moved slower than all of us wanted it to. So we really had planned on these being uh, finished this last summer. Um, But we've kept our head down and we're we're trying to get these finished up now. And we do anticipate 10 new businesses moving in. Um, before spring break and so they'll start to trickle in um, uh, after the first of the year so we are we are making progress right now the actual bit the actual spaces themselves are primarily finished and so what the work that's being done is actually the tenant improvements on the inside so shelving and and um, merchant you know all the merchandising so a lot of these businesses are are starting to move into their spaces and and get comfortable but uh, we're, we're really again excited to have a new bookstore a new toy store we have um, uh, a, a family that has that sold their business on Bainbridge Island and uh, it's called Magnolias and they had this great great uh, ladies boutique which is also moving into Seabrook so um, we also have an arcade. Um, we have a new Mexican restaurant. Um, we have uh, at least one art gallery, if not two art galleries. And we also have two more that we're um, still negotiating with. So, uh, but, but expect to see 10, 10 brand new businesses in Seabrook um, in that first quarter of next year. That will really change the dynamic out here because um, – so much of retail is about hitting hitting that critical mass and we now have the homes to support the retail and most all of our retailers want to grow so on to the next slide here um, this is a sneak peek of our first six ocean view condos these have not been uh, on not been put on the website there has been no public marketing of these uh, six residential condos uh, so you're seeing it here first. Um, and if you are interested in learning more about these condos, they're, um, most of them have really beautiful views of the ocean. But more importantly, they're right in the town center. So you really have – it's just very lively, um, great for people watching. But they're going to have these uh, views looking out towards the ocean 
that will never be blocked um, looking down Market Street. So those balconies and those bay windows are, are really going to be great spaces to hang out and enjoy Seabrook. So we have a video, but we want to give you a little uh, little tour of, of our town center um, and where kind of where we're at. All right, hopefully you can see this. So, um, so this is showing six of the Ocean View condos uh, on the right-hand side. Off to the right is a new brewery um, that's being designed. And to the left will, will be six more Ocean View condos. So we're just going to kind of cruise down the street here. Most of the homes um, up here to the right are actually built and, and constructed. Um, the three homes that you see there are under construct are, are complete actually. And there's a house to the right that's on the corner that's almost complete as well. So there's quite a bit more. Most of these houses are built that are in this 3D image. Um, on your on the left hand side here, um, this is actually where the grocery store is going to be, and then below it will be uh, kind of an 80s retro arcade. But um, because that's not under construction yet, it's coming soon, but not under construction. The arcade is going to be moving in across the street from Frontagers. Here's Frontagers. If you're familiar with our great little pizza place, here's the gym. This building is not built. This will probably be six to eight little townhouses um, and that we're not sure about yet and then these buildings are actually almost complete or actually they're they are complete and then you can see these four buildings they're nearing completion um, here's the six townhouses or six um, ocean view condominiums this is a new mexican restaurant on the corner and i'll push play button again here so if you know if you know where our old sales office is, that's where that's the building here on the far right. Kind of cruise down Market Street here, so you can see all the balconies and the new street lights, street trees. You can see the brewery off there to the right. That, that next corner here um, will be a new wine bar, wine shop. They're planning on expanding. Most of our businesses are um, wanting to almost double their footprints right now, which is great for our town center and great for our owners and guests. So these are buildings that are complete. This is where the new um, string theory is, Gene Chambers' new uh, yarn store and knitting store. And then the current wine bar is here, the current kids store is here, but those will be moving on to Market Street. You can see the parking lot. We've got a, about a 70 space parking lot going in behind Main Street. And then you always, you, we always put our parking, of course, behind um, the retail building so that you get that really um, great street front and um, really narrows up the street and, and um, creates a, a more beautiful main street. So that is it. So I'm going to go to the next. Oh, close. Okay. All right. So next uh, really exciting uh, piece of news for um, 2019 is that Seabrook just um, created a partnership with Airbnb. We had uh, several Airbnb team members come to Seabrook and visit for the first time and they fell in love with, with what we were doing here. And um, we really uh, created a great connection. And um, if you're an Airbnb user, you know that they've started a whole new program called Airbnb Plus. And Airbnb Plus is basically their premium um, homes that are on their program. Now, when I say premium, what I mean is that Airbnb physically does a 100-point inspection uh, on each home, they want to meet the host. They want to know all the little details about the home to make sure that their 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 guests and their um, customers have a, a really um, 
great experience. And so we have now partnered with Airbnb on this uh, exclusive partnership. This is the first of its kind for Airbnb with any resort developer. So it's a real, um, it's a real uh, nice thing for our team to understand that, you know, we're doing something special out here and the Airbnb is actually um, taken notice. So um, what this is going to do is put most of our homes on Airbnb. Of course, they have to meet that 100 point inspection um, that Airbnb requires. And so some of our homes that may not meet all of the 100 points will be working with the homeowners to make sure that they get up to those 100 points. But it's really going to elevate um, the uh, the level of interest in Seabrook because Airbnb is a huge platform. and Currently, 96% of our vacation of our of our hospitality business um, has come through our website and through our call center. So, um, which is a very unusual. Most most vacation rental companies depend on um, Airbnb or HomeAway to book their homes, and and we have done most of that on our own. And part of it is because most people don't even know Seabrook exists, and so Airbnb. Um, wants to put Seabrook on the map. And so we're super excited about this partnership. They're going to be re-merchandising us on their website and sending it out to uh, millions of people um, announcing this this new partnership. And we, we expect to see, if you have a home in, in the rental program, you should see a lift um, in, in, the, in the number of nights that you rent and, and the uh, total revenue, which is, again, a, a nice addition to a program that's already working well. Um, another big announcement for 2019 is that we have finally signed an agreement with Department of Natural Resa Resources for a 160 acre mountain bike trail system. Um, anyone that's familiar with Duthie Hill or Tiger Mountain, the guys that designed and built those trails uh, is ever their Evergreen Mountain Bike Alliance, and we've been working with them and collaborating with them, and they have designed a 160-acre mountain bike uh, terrain park. So um, the the size of this is again 160 acres. To put that in perspective, Duthy Hill is 140 acres. So if you're familiar with Duthy Hill or you have friends or or uh, people you know that ride Duthie Hill. Um, this is a little bit larger um, trail park, and um, it's going to have lots of options. So for beginners, will be green, blue, or for intermediate riders, and then more expert riding for those who want to take the big jumps and and do some of that crazy stuff. So we're super excited to have this adjacent to Seabrook. This will be open to the public, and it'll be a, a real a, a real good draw for Seabrook. Um, also, a uh, little, little bit more on 2018, uh, we just finished two parks in our South, South Farm neighborhood, and the Croft is this one to the left, which has um, these sweet little two-bedroom cottages and then some larger cottages on the ends that are actually three-bedroom homes. Uh, we do have a few left in there, so anybody that's interested in um, having a house and, and not having to wait for it, um, these are a great opportunity. Uh, we rarely have anything that's available that's finished. So um, again, these are for someone that wants something really simple at the beach. Uh, the the two bedroom cottages actually um, both accommodate king size beds. They each have their own private bath, so they're they're really nice little nice little cottages. And then to the right hand side, this is the park that just went in, just south of the barn. So if you know where the ba the barn is. Um, this is a, a brand new um, park. It's called Barnhill Park, and um, it's something you definitely want to check out the next time you're here. And you can see, you can actually see the barn off to the distance there. Um, and then there's a, a new fire pit that just went in. And then what you don't see are the ho uh, the houses that are under construction to the left here. So lots of new construction in South the Market. I'm sorry, South Farm neighborhood. Um, I'm actually going to talk about the uh, South Market neighborhood here soon. Also, um, we announced to our homeowners this year that we've finally selected a location for our next swimming pool. The goal is for this to be a lar much larger outdoor um, saltwater pool, 
and uh, with, with some recreation buildings attached to it. Uh, we'll probably end up moving our gym, our fitness facility into this space, uh, but also have neat little nooks and crannies for people to hang out that maybe don't want to swim and just, just kind of relax and enjoy the, the ocean air and, and the, the sound of the waves um, while, while others enjoy the pool. So we're super excited about that. Um, and we will be designing, that, working on the design next year. And then now we're just really going to go into que uh, questions. So anybody that has questions, um, if you have had a chance to fill out um, the uh, question box, um, have we gotten any questions yet? I don't think we have yet. So sometimes we do receive questions. Um, I usually announce in the very beginning that you can <laughs> insert questions, and I did not do that. So, oh, one just popped up. So if you do have questions and you wanna and you wanna um, send them, it's not it's not too late. Um, are there any plans for similar communities like C Seabrook that you are aware of? Um, not in not along the coast. Um, the uh, um, what really makes Seabrook so secure from a long term um, from a long term standpoint is that there's very little land along the Washington coast that actually can be developed that has public sewer and public water, and that creates a, a barrier to entry. And it's part of the reason Seabrook has been so resilient um, through all all the markets, um, including um, 08 and, and through 012, which was a difficult time for most communities. We we continued to sell um, at a good pace because there was so much pent-up demand in the Seattle market, and uh, we, you know, there's so lim such limited supply uh, close to Seattle. So if you want to, if you're from Seattle or Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland, Tacoma, and you want to go to the Pacific Ocean, we're as close um, as you can get to it, and or as close of a drive as you can get to it, and. We're really becoming an alternative for people that were going to driving an extra two hours to the Oregon coast. So that's all we have for today. If you do have questions, uh, we'd love to answer them. Um, our sales team is is always, uh, or I should say, our sales office is always open, and our sales team is always available. So if you do have any specific questions about any of the new homes or uh, any of the Ocean View condominiums that just were that you just got the sneak peek of, please let us know. But otherwise, we hope to see you at the beach, and you have a, a, a great rest of the week. Thanks a lot.